Hi, so in today's video I want to talk about string diodes. What are string diodes? What are they used for? And what happens when they fail? So this here is a string diode for a solar system. It already comes with the MC4 connectors. So this prevents backflow of energy from one string to another one if you have a solar system with many parallel uh, strings of uh, solar panels. So uh, typically you can have solar panels all connected in serial but this will result in a high voltage and keep the amperage, the current low, right? But some systems like my off-grid systems they are working with a relatively low system voltage the maximum is 150 volts so, but it can actually handle quite a lot of uh, power, up to 4,500 watts. So this, when it's fully used, that can be up to 80 amps on the MPPT charge controller. You can of course only reach this kind of uh, currents when you uh, take arrays of panels and put them in parallel. Right? So in my case, I have uh, five parallel arrays each have three panels in series so this this will typically result in a voltage of uh, 110 volts when when the system is running and uh, the current might then be up to maybe 70 amps so this one is a brand new 20 amp uh, string diode and yesterday I replaced one of uh, one array because uh, it failed. And you can maybe see here a hole in the casing. And if you look inside, this can be just unscrewed. Here is the diode and it also has burn marks. So we are going to attempt a repair, which is not very difficult because we just take the old diode out and put in a new one. I have uh, 15 amp uh, diodes here, which are short key diodes from, from the panels. Uh, we just replaced the 20 by a 15 amp one. The current of my panels is uh, typically not more than 8 amps, so it's no problem. So after we're fixing uh, this, this diode here, so we can use it again, uh, I will then show you uh, how this looks like on the solar system and explain a little bit more there. Okay. So the old diode is gone. Screw it together again. Okay, that's it. The new diode is inside there. Uh, I will mark it now that it is a 15 amp diode. Here in Thailand we have a really hot climate all year round and these diodes they typically fail once uh, in two years. So it's, it's the weakest link inside the chain there, inside the circuit. And if there is a problem with a string then it's always the diode which fails. This is how it would look like in the schematics. So you have this is one string, you have three panels in series and then parallel strings in my case. I have five of these. And the minus goes to the inverter and on the plus end these here are the string diodes. So if you let's say shadow put shadow on this one. Uh, let's say this, this is shadow on this string of panels. These two strings would produce higher voltage and they would try to push 
current back through that string but the diode will prevent this to happen and this goes then of course there's fuses inside but just simplify it to the invert again yeah, so here we are on the roof of one side of my car park uh, this is a one string so three panels in series here's the next one this is on this roof and uh, on the other side there another three strings there so five strings all together and always three panels like this in parallel so the string diode which you can see here this is the plus of all the three uh, panels the last panel plus which would go then to the uh, bus bar of the uh, solar system and here is the string diode so in case some shadow hits one of these uh, panels here the voltage there and the current would start dropping and it could cause if you don't have a diode that the current will backflow through these panels which you of course don't want it is not good for the panels and it is also of course taking away some of your performance so these panels here are all in the full sunshine but let me show you here we have a electricity pole another one and the sun is now already probably shadowing this first string there and here in the morning we have trees we have here these banana palms here so there is uh, trees all around my car a park here and yeah it will always be some strings here which will uh, be somehow shadowed even partly and that will cause drop off in the power on those three panels then okay that was it uh, just a short video today but uh, this kind of uh, components are many times overlooked in the DIY community uh, but it's important to use if you have uh, same me uh, situation on your system where shadow can move from one uh, string to the other one and this would then cause uh, current to flow from one to the other uh, no more to say now uh, thank you for watching uh, please like comment subscribe to my channel and i talk to you next time